Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the easiest remote jobs you can do on your phone. So one thing you can do is microtasking, which actually involves doing all sorts of different, just random jobs that are usually one-off jobs, which basically means these are not ongoing. You're not gonna be doing the same thing on a day-to-day -day basis like you would with something part-time or full-time where you get paid by the hour. Instead, you're gonna get paid by the task you complete. And then once you finish that task, you get paid and you move on to another task that may be totally different from the last one. Toloka is one where you can do this. It has 10 million plus downloads on Android. They have an iPhone version of these as well. And then 4.2 out of five stars out of 328,000 reviews. So obviously very good feedback from people here. You'll have things like finding typos, like finding stuff in your area. You can update information about organizations. You can do simple photo moderation. You can do image appeal and video results, entrances to organizations. You might take pictures of those. So they also have things in person and online. You get paid via a few different options here. Now I would like to see a few more options that are a little more mainstream, especially for like people in the US. Like I would like to see PayPal on here possibly or something like that, but they do include Payoneer and a few other options here. Payoneer is a fairly common one around the world, but as far as a place where you can get paid to do microtasking and just all sorts of just random tasks, you could check out Toloka. As far as what people say that they've earned using Toloka, they have things like content reviewers at around $24 an hour and freelancers at around 36. Next, we have a website called UserBrain. UserBrain allows you to get paid to test websites at home. This is at userbrain.com and you just sign up and download the user brain recorder for your Google Chrome browser or your iOS or Android device. So then you just start testing websites from there. So you can do this on a mobile or a PC device. You speak your thoughts while going through a set of tasks for about five to 20 minutes. A lot of times they want you to have some sort of microphone and do this audibly instead of like filling out a survey or something like that. And again, $5 per test via PayPal for five to 20 minutes of your time. So how much you get paid per hour is gonna depend on how consistent you actually have test going. So for instance, you might get paid $5 for a five minute test and you might be like, oh, that's like $60 an hour. Yes, but you would have to have a lot of different tests within that hour for you to actually average that hourly rate. So you kind of have to just get paid by the test instead of looking at it like, oh, I get paid this much for this amount of time. But basically after you apply, you'll be asked to record a qualification test. That's kind of how you verify your account and verify that you're ready. It will review your video, give you feedback, and basically help you approve for future tests. And then you get approved and you start receiving paid tests from there. So they have a pretty average rating here of three out of five stars on Trustpilot. They don't really have a Glassdoor page yet. Another thing you can do on your phone is basically test mobile games. So if you're interested in mobile games and you like gaming, this is something you can do on an Android or Apple device. Playtestcloud.com is a website where you would actually sign up and then you would just go to become a tester at the top right of the website. Then you'll end up on a sign up page that looks like this. So you submit the sign up form and if you're eligible, you start doing a qualification test, which is unpaid and teaches you how to do a play test properly. When you qualify, they'll invite you to play test where you can earn money. So, so when you're ready to sign up at Playtest Cloud, you can basically just sign up and take their qualification test and then complete that test. And after that, you will be invited for a future play test of different mobile games. So when you come here, they tell you that you can get paid around $9 for every 15 minute play test that you do. So every 15 minute test of a mobile game, typically you get paid around $9. And then again, this is not meant to be any kind of income that you depend on all the time. You can also get your kids involved as well if they're interested in playing mobile games. As far as what it's like to get paid at Playtest Cloud, on average, if you look at people's estimates, you see that the hourly rate does match up with what they tell you. Typically, you'll see people say, you know, maybe 29 an hour or 30 an hour or something along those lines, which is pretty close to the, you know, $9 per 15 minute average that they talk about. Next, we have a company called Gango, which allows you to get paid to do translation work on your phone, on your tablet, or on your PC. So you have a flexible schedule. You get to work whenever and wherever you want. You can pick and choose from thousands of projects that are available each day. 
You have a supportive community that will help you if needed, and you have, again, the latest technology that allows you to do this work on any device that you want, including your smartphone. So you have a calculator here as well that'll tell you about how much you could average on a monthly basis if you were to translate to that language. So you can look at all sorts of different languages on here. You'll see that you know a lot of times um, some languages will pay significantly more than others. And I believe it has to do with a lot of times how many people worldwide speak that language, like how common is that language. A lot of times those seem to be the more um, higher paying ones in many cases. So you sign up, you get approved, you start translating, you get paid. And then you can also pass these pro qualification exams that allow you to get paid even more and get higher tier projects. Now, as far as how much people claim to make with Gango in terms of hourly pay, it looks like it's gonna be somewhere in the $30 per hour range. Another company you have is Kickoff. Kickoff is a website where you can get paid to actually train people if you're a personal trainer and you're qualified to do so. And you can do this via the app where you actually can video chat or text your clients. So they actually have this you know, outlined on their website where they are looking for people who have three plus years of one-on-one -on -one coaching experience, current personal trainer certification or four-year undergraduate equivalent, extremely high emotional intelligence, expertise in training the human body, and things like that. So if you do need some qualifications, but it's one of those things where if you know what you're talking about, it can be a fairly easy thing to do because you're essentially just texting people how to meet their goals via personal training, whether they're trying to gain muscle, lose weight, etc. So they also want you to recruit, you know, at least like maybe one of your first clients, but then they help you recruit all the clients after that. And then you can train people with only a few minutes a day. And there's actually some built-in AI in the app that does a lot of the work for you. So you can train them via text and through like video chat and things like that. And you can get up to 100 clients at a time and manage them all through the Kickoff app. And they tell you you could earn up to $8,000 a month doing this. So it's a very highly rated app. Uh, again, 4.7 out of 5 stars, 10,000 plus downloads and everything is all kind of built into one app. Now they did mention that you could make up to $8,000 a month, but if you look at the averages for personal trainers here, they are pretty good on an hourly basis. You're looking at somewhere around $39 an hour. Next we have a company called Wiseant, and they have a mobile app where you can actually tutor people online. Now typically you're going to tutor people in school subjects. So some tutoring sites, they'll have you do like specifically a language, like an English tutoring one where you are teaching people all around the world how to better t how to better speak English. But if you're looking at tutoring with Wizant, you may, you may tutor them in a math subject or an English subject or a science subject or something like that. They have 50,000 plus downloads, 3.6 out of five stars. And so it's a fairly well-rated app as well. And then you have kind of your profile as a tutor where you will have a response rate, your response time, your rating overall, how many upcoming lessons you have, your calendar, and all of that stuff is built in. You can message your clients through there as well and take on clients of all different ages. Now, as far as what it's like to work here, they have great ratings again that we've already been over. As far as how much tutors typically average on an hourly basis, you're looking Looks like somewhere around 22 an hour or possibly up to 31 an hour. Maybe even more than that in some areas where if you were to do say English as a second language or something like that, like $39 an hour according to 181 people for that. You also have an app called Userlytics. Userlytics is something you can do on your PC or your mobile device. You could probably do it on a tablet as well. It's a way for you to get paid to test websites and apps and do it on many different devices. So. 4.4 out of five stars is what the rating is, which is obviously very good. 100,000 plus downloads, also a very good sample size here. And this is an app where you literally have one of the easiest possible things you can do. You go through a website, you go through an app, and then you literally just, a lot of times you will verbally say what you think about it as you're scrolling through it. And this feedback is used by website owners and developers to better improve the apps and the websites that you get feedback on for the future. You typically get paid every two weeks and you could start allegedly as early as 16 years old, but you'll probably have to get your parent or legal guardian's permission to do that. Now, typically you get paid by the test. You'll probably average 
you know, a certain amount per test. I believe it's anywhere from like a few dollars to up to like $90 per test, depending on what you do and how long the test takes. But if you look at what a web tester posted on here as a review, they said they averaged around $33 an hour. But again, as I mentioned with some of these others, like say Playtest Cloud as an example, just because they say you make that much per hour, that basically is scaled up to an hourly rate. That doesn't mean you're gonna consistently make that hour by hour by hour. It's one of those things where it's a side hustle that can make you a little bit of extra money here and there. Another thing you can do is coaching with task humans. So if you know a lot about a certain field, even if it's like leadership or business or career coaching or something like personal training, meditation, personal development, task human allows you to get paid to coach people. So you can see that they are very highly rated with a 4.8 out of five star rating, 10,000 plus downloads. It's kind of similar to kickoff, except again, you're going to basically have more options of different types of coaching instead of just centered around personal training. But you can text people that you are basically coaching. You can also video chat with them and just manage your profile, your payments, and everything within this convenient app. Now, one nice thing about being a coach here is you actually get to um, control when you coach and how much you earn. So basically, you can set your own schedule, which is also nice as well. Now, they have all sorts of different types of coaches that you can apply for right now. You have career and life coaches, you have just regular coach, um, you have a few others in like certain parts of the world. You have fitness coach, which they want you to be bilingual in Japanese and English for this one. Fitness, wellness, nutrition coach, leadership coach, yoga and Pilates instructor, and sales performance coach as well. So if you were to click on one of these, they'll tell you kind of what they actually require. Like this one, they want eight plus years of experience. So obviously that's a lot of experience for some of these. It'll probably vary depending on which one you do. But it's one of those where it's very, if you already have that experience, it's one of those things where it should be fairly easy for you to manage this because they make it extremely convenient. It's just a matter of whether you already have the background in one of these fields or not. Now, as far as how much you might actually get paid for doing this type of stuff, you have, for instance, a coach right here. There's three people that left feedback as a coach here, averaging 25 an hour. And then you have like corporate wellness coach averaging $36 an hour, wellness coach averaging $26 an hour, leadership coach averaging around $44 an hour. It depends on the type of coach you are. Next you have the Taskverse app, which is a website and app where you can get paid to do all sorts of just random tasks. Typically you would call this like micro tasking. Now they have a 2.8 out of five star rating, 10,000 plus downloads. So it's not as big of a sample size as some of the others but uh, their rating is you know, fairly average, maybe slightly below, which could be a little better. But the nice thing about Taskverse is it's one of the easier places to get you know, gigs that aren't going to be very hard to do. So these are not always gonna pay a lot. It just depends on what you do though. You have image annotation, text annotation, video collection, you can refer people. There's a lot of different things you can do. Microtasking covers a very wide range of things. It could be data entry, transcriptions, surveys, all sorts of things. The nice thing about them is they have weekly pay. You usually get paid within five to 10 days. And also there's no test or assessment that's usually involved with your application. Now they don't have a lot of feedback in terms of like Glassdoor where I could give you a salary range or something like you know indeed.com, but they do have one review on Trustpilot, which is a five-star review apparently. Um, for some reason they have a 3.7 out of five average, even though they have one five-star review. I'm not really sure why that is, but um, they just don't have a lot of, you know, as far as the sample size for reviews, it could be a little bit more. And then we also have one forma. One forma is a place where you can do all sorts of different types of gigs in many different languages. It could be AI related, like AI training. Um, you have data collection, you have internet judging or translation and many other things. So again, it's kind of like what you would probably call a microtasking type of app. So this one has 3.4 out of five stars, 50,000 plus downloads as well. You can see some of the screenshots here. It's a very simple app, not very fancy looking or anything like that, but it's one of those where it's a, it's another one where you can find easy gigs, usually one-off gigs that you do it, it takes a few minutes, you're done, you get paid, and then you move on to the next one and the listings. Now, there have been some reports that you may need to be bilingual for some of the tasks on here. So if you aren't bilingual, you may be a little more limited to certain things, but it's one of those where it's still worth a shot maybe if you just want some 
some good extra money on the side, something easy to do that you can actually access on your phone. Now, in terms of the, the reviews for pay here, these are kind of all over the place. A lot of these are very traditional jobs and you couldn't really use these as, as a estimate for what you would be doing as a microtasker. The closest thing I could find was a, like a freelancer at around $48 an hour or an evaluator. An evaluator is a very common micro task do type of job, which is around $33 an hour. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. If this was specifically a helpful video for you, please click the like button. It helps me know if this is the type of content you want. And also other than that, I'll see you in the next video.